All right, guys, today we're going to do a cooking video, and I'm going to show you how to cook whole fish. For this video, we're using snapper. This is fish that I caught out on the coast of Florida, the fishing with my buddy Jay. So I've got three fish here that are already scaled and cleaned up. You can see we've removed the fins, and we've also cut the heads off. This recipe or this style of cooking, you can do with head on. It's a personal preference. I've got, gone ahead and removed the head so that they fit in my Camp Chef pan a little um, better. It's pretty simple, guys. I'm going to make a meal using fish, asparagus, and I'm going to use some garlic to season it, and also use some lime juice. I'm just going to go ahead and take my knife, and I'm going to cut in about three or four slits right down the uh, side of the fish. And again, this fish is already scaled. I'm going to go about an inch apart, so for this fish it's going to be about four slits. Go ahead and do it on both sides. You can fill as you go down with the knife, you can fill the uh, rib bones. You don't need to go too deep with the cut, just enough to, to cut it open so we can put our uh, seasonings on the inside. And that's what brings us to the next thing. Just go ahead and cut either a lemon or lime, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna go ahead and use lime on this one and just squeeze that lime juice over the top of the fish. And make sure it gets in some of those slits. That's gonna add a lot of flavor to the final product. Now, it really comes down to personal preference, what type of seasonings you like. Um, I'm going to keep it simple and use a little bit of garlic and salt and pepper. And same thing with the lime juice, you want to make sure you get some of those seasons right down the, the middle of the, the cuts we made in the fish earlier. Some on the top there. Just to add flavor. If you like certain seasonings or maybe something more spicy, go ahead and try it with that. Whatever you like, you can go ahead and sprinkle on. Again, just try to get some of that seasoned on the inside of those cuts we made earlier. Just work some of that in, the salt and the pepper. That's, that's it for the fish. I'm gonna go ahead and Figure that one is done. I'm gonna set it aside and do uh, fish number two. All right, we've got our oil nice and hot. I am using the Camp Chef iron skillet. I absolutely love cooking in iron skillets. I use them outdoors when I'm camping or hunting and fishing. And I've just kind of drug it inside and found that I love to cook steaks and things like fish and vegetables on it as well. So we have the Camp Chef skillet. We're gonna go ahead and throw these bad boys on. It should take anywhere from about four to seven minutes per side. All right, everything looks good. The fish smells amazing. Um, been on there long enough for one side, so I'm going to use these Camp Chef utensils to flip them. I do uh, recommend that you use, you know, two utensils just so the fish doesn't fall apart. Use a spatula and tongs. Ruin that one. Our meal is done. Um, one thing that I've seen a lot of people do is they'll actually remove the fish from the oil and set it out on a tray or maybe even a paper towel so it can dry off and kind of crisp. I'm a little too impatient for that, but you guys might want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and serve myself a plate because it smells so good and looks so good. Alright, 
<laughs> There's the final product. A nice snapper with some greens on the side. My choice this time was um, asparagus. But a very simple and easy recipe. I'm going to sit down and try it for the first time myself. There's the final product and I'd say by the looks of it, it's going to be absolutely delicious. It's all about the presentation, right? I dressed it up with a little bit of garden salsa, some cilantro on top, and also some lime pieces. If I want some extra lime, I can squeeze those on there and a little bit of, like I said before, greens. We got some asparagus. Guys, if you are not cooking at home that much, I definitely recommend cook at home. I know a lot of people who hunt and fish watch this channel. Take advantage of everything. Um, I, before I hunted and fished, um, or if I don't get a lot of meat, I, I'm stuck buying fish or beef at the grocery store. And if you can avoid that, why not? This stuff is organic, it's healthy, and it's clean. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, again, check out the Camp Chef products. We use them both indoors and outdoors. Great product and a great company. If you like cooking videos, we have a whole playlist full of cooking videos here on the Hushin channel. And if you haven't already, guys, please subscribe. Look at that. Mm. As soon as it hit my tongue, I can really taste the uh, the lime on there. Really good. <laughs> the skin is good too. It's a little crunchy.